Now this is pretty cool because uh, this thing is sitting back in the heat. You'll get to see how much it darkened up. Um, I'm going to have to do all this uh, in little segments because I don't have a whole lot of memory on my phone. But um, this is going to be the Black Pearl segment, and uh, I'm going to try to get as many of these done as possible today because a lot of these might end up getting sold. Not so much the Black Pearls, but some of the other projects. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos, and um, I'm going to try to get them done as fast as possible. I'm going to kind of keep this short because I don't want him locking up with her, but uh, this is going to be the mother of some of them. The other girl's in the lay box right now. I don't want to mess with her. I don't really think I'm getting too many more eggs out of these girls. But um, if you want to see really good pictures of him out in the sun, go on um, the Morph Magic page on Facebook. I got some really good ones recently. But he's the father to any of the Inferno stuff and all of the Black Pearls also. And then I've actually uh, got a couple eggs from him to um, a bell. And I've yet to hatch. I haven't hatched anything from that. And I only have maybe four or five of them. Male. And it's starting to look like it, it is a male. It's got some pretty cool color. This one started out pretty slow. So it's, um, it's pretty small. It hatched out fine. It was a decent size and everything. It just didn't really eat on its own right off the bat. But then we have another one right here. It's pretty cool looking. It hasn't really colored up yet. But I, I messed everything from that inferno. I threw some, a whole lot of white on the heads. And these two are uh, basically polar opposites. This thing looks like it lightened up a little bit since I brought it out. But this is probably the darkest one, if not its sibling is. And the reason I don't have that one in here is because it's, it's pretty damn small. But this thing's really cool looking. It was one of the lightest babies of all the tangerines to hatch. Which is funny because it comes from, you know, black pearls. But it's just got some real unique color. It's got like a pretty cool, um, like a purple horseshoe or V on the, on the head. And then a whole lot of white going down into the neck. No, I'd have to double check, but I believe this was one of the ones from the really shriveled up eggs. It has eat, eaten a couple worms out of my hand, so I'm not really panicking. It, it was super small. It chewed off the um, umbilical sac when it came out of the egg, so it didn't even absorb that. You can just tell a major size difference. And it does have a little bit of issues getting the shed off of its feet. I don't know if that's just because of how small it is or whatever, but... um. I have been helping it out. Actually, it looks like it's got a damage to there. But anyway, this thing's going to take some work. It's probably eventually just going to be given away as a pet or a sell it, you know, as pet quality, whatever. Which is a shame because if you can't tell, I mean, it's one of the darkest ones I've hatched. And you can tell um, there's a major difference when I took this thing out of the cage, and, and that's why I definitely know it's got some black pearl influence. Um, I took it out of the cage. It had the same uh, like kind of caramel look to it, like this thing, and, and the yellow even looked a lot darker. And this one doesn't have the dark patches on the tail, but usually this one has some dark areas, and, and it's totally white right now. But I'm just happy this thing survived. The the one, uh, the Paradox I showed in the first clip, that's also from one of the shriveled up eggs. But that thing did pretty good. It plumped right back up as soon as I found uh, that the lid had popped loose. Now it would have been a little bit too hard to do while I was uh, holding it and holding the camera with one hand. But I never really have to hold them down. Um, I've seen people do it and it works fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But a lot of times if I can get them to just sit still for a minute... Once you um, brush the, uh, the worm guts like, um, up against their face, they normally um, try to take an, a bite out of them right away. So I don't really feel a reason to hold on to them. I mean, I'm a little nervous right now because I'm standing up. I, I did this sitting down on the couch, but uh, as long as they're ever something soft, you know, I just leave them sitting in your hand. 
And um, once they see the worm wiggling around and they get a little bit of stuff on the side of their face, they usually um, open right up for you. And with the couple that I've had to do this with, after about maybe two to four times, um, they're usually eating on their own pretty good. You normally can tell the day they uh, decide to eat on their own because they just totally raid the, uh, the worm dish.